Guys, Tuesday was the deadline to cut your roster to 53 in the NFL. And the Bears made quite a few moves, but two stood out to me, Zach. Number one, Desmond Trufant, the cornerback we signed to replace Kyle Fuller, was cut. And then we finally also released Riley Ridley, the wide receiver that just never lived up to expectations. Now, here's the thing, Zach, because the Trufant situation's tricky. He missed a lot of training camp with a with a death in his family, and the Bears didn't know if he was going to be ready for week one. I think it just puts not only him, but the organization in an awkward situation. I mean, you and I were saying it. Like, I didn't really hear that he was gone for, for like, obviously I knew he wasn't playing in the preseason games, but like, I didn't feel like I heard why. And I mean, it doesn't look the greatest on paper by the Bears being like, hey, you, I think it was his dad who passed away. Uh, you're dealing with that. We told you to take all the time you need, but we're cutting you. Yeah. I think, like, that, especially for a position that's already like the thinnest, is just getting thinner. It looks like Kendall Vildor will be starting for us at that right cornerback position. Uh, Duke Shelley's a backup, maybe Artie Burns, but I, I'm really, really, really concerned about that coming into week one. Basically, Eddie and Tashawn are going to need to step it up. That pass rush, and man. The pass rush is going to have to get to the quarterback this year. Zach, the thing about Riley Ridley is I don't think any Bears fan could ever really understand his, like, what, like, where he was at with the team. There were so many times in the last couple of years where you wondered why he wasn't dressed out. You wondered why they were giving Javon Wims playing time over him. It just, it seemed like, I don't know, I, I read something, I don't know if this is correct. Apparently he couldn't memorize the plays and that was one of the big problems that he had with getting on the field. Also, fun fact about uh, Riley Ridley, his first name is actually Calvin Ridley. So he's, he's got the same first name as his brother, his middle name is Riley. So I, I was reading that and I thought that was pretty funny. No one ever really talks about that. Um, but I thought we were gonna keep him just because that Georgia connection with potentially Justin Fields. It seems like you said, you know, they're going a different direction. Adams has looked great in preseason, so I'm excited to see him play. I, I would not be surprised if Riley Ridley did get a fresh start and was able to, you know, have a little bit of an impact on an NFL roster. I still think he is a talented football player. It just seemed like, you know, Chicago and him never gelled. Bird, I think it's going to be a solid number four. In, our, in my eyes, I mean, last year he had 600 receiving yards on 47 catches. So it's not like he is a bad player. And I was with the Patriots, where the Patriots had Cam Newton, yeah. wasn't the greatest quarterback. So I think he's a very mm -hmm. solid fourth receiver for us. In yeah. my I'm also happy to see everyone that's not named Allen Robinson and Darnell Mooney gone from last year's wide receiver core. That was just like a disaster. And it showed come playoff time. A little bit of a fresh start. Some more names will probably. I I, I would be interested to see if the Bears make pick somebody up. Um, I'd like to see them address the cornerback position. I I don't know what's going to happen there. Again, we're what we're less than two weeks away. We're like twelve days away from Cyanide Football versus the Rams, which I know Zach probably feels the same way. I'm not. I'm not overly excited for that game, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> um. See, I'm not happy at Just, all, but. Uh well, yeah, guys, we'll see. It, it'll be interesting. Anyway, guys, make sure you do check out Zach. He streams down on Twitch every single night. He will be linked in the description. Also, please make sure you guys do drop a like. Make sure you guys do drop a subscription. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.